Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Spaceman Days. Thanks so much for uh, watching if you've come back um, after subscribing and thanks very much for stopping by if it's your first time. Um, so I did go and buy a Canon EOS R. Canon's brand new mirrorless full frame camera. Now, if you're looking for the most comprehensive review of the EOS R, um, look elsewhere, this isn't it. And you can look it all up and I'm sure if you're even vaguely thinking about buying the camera you already have. And if you're on this channel because of the business side of things, um, rather than the photography side, I'm not gonna bore you to death. So go and Google it or something. I've been looking to upgrade for a little while and decided to put the question out there to a couple of groups to see which camera is the best one for me to upgrade to. One of the main groups I put it on was a group called No Small Creator. Now, No Small Creator is essentially a bunch of people who believe in the fact that if you're creating, you're creating. It doesn't matter if you're big or small, lots of subscribers or hardly any subscribers. The fact is that you're creating video, photography, whatever it is you're doing, but you're out there doing it and that's the main thing. A lot of people will know No Small Creator from Cody Warner, um, who you know, he doesn't make um, movie style videos. He doesn't um, add a ton of different graphics and post-production on them. Um, but what he does do is he vlogs every day and his content's interesting. He, his, uh, his personality is very engaging. Um, so he's a great example of being able to be successful and uh, do well on this uh, media um, with having a very simple idea. Uh, and that's a, an amazing thing. And actually, no small creator, I've spent a lot of time looking at different channels now that are part of no small creator. And there's some amazing ones. And one, one of the main ones, for instance, who, that's the completely opposite in terms of production is um, Aspect Science. Um, I would suggest going to uh, check Aspect Science out. It's a brilliant channel, just suddenly had a massive growth spurt. But yeah, it's a, it's a brilliant channel all about different science, nature, um, all those facts and figures that everyone loves from, from David Attenborough and the BBC programs, but on a, on a cool YouTube channel. And Tom Carroll, who um, runs uh, Aspect Science, uh, is a brilliant editor as well, so the, the production value is amazing. There's some great edit throughout, great video um, animation, um, and of course the content itself and the information is brilliant. So that's just one um, channel that I have found through No Small Creator. So as I say, I'd suggest if you're a creator uh, and you want some support and you want some advice, um, go and check them out. It's a, it's a great group. Hashtag no small creator on Facebook. The consensus really was mixed as to what I should get. And realistically, there's so many different cameras out there. And I, I've been doing um, interior photography and nature photography and various other photography for a little while now. And I wanted to upgrade my camera. Overall, after reading lots of comments and watching lots of YouTube channels, uh, YouTube reviews, um, I decided to go with the EOS or EOS R, which is uh, fantastic. You can see here, I put some initial shots um, from my first trip down to, um, down to Leeds Castle, which is not far from me, um, just to do some test shots on the, the, uh, the new camera. But what I really wanted to talk about today is the idea of being a pro. Um, when I was looking at a lot of the videos um, and got a lot of feedback, one of the things was lots of people talked about being a pro and having pro equipment. Now the reality is that I don't really buy into that concept of being a pro. You either create what you're creating with its video or photography or you're an artist or a graphic designer, um, you run a business and you get paid for it. Now if you do all of that and you do it well, you're a pro essentially. Now, does it matter what equipment you use to do it? Um, well, I don't know, I'm not sure it does. I think, you know, I know a lot of people who use um, entry-level equipment. Canon, Canon cameras, for instance, I started on a 750D, which by no means would be called a pro camera. Um, but nevertheless, I was doing some nice shots um, and doing interior work and getting paid for it with that camera. I've upgraded a couple of times since to the, and now to the latest one, but what makes you a pro? The reality is that it doesn't really matter um, how you create the content, it's what the end result is. Um, so 
you know, you want to avoid the snobbery because um, it puts pressure on you. And much like social media does, um, Facebook and Twitter and things like Instagram and YouTube, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of comparing yourself to them and a lot of comparing yourself to other people. You know, I don't have thousands and thousands of f followers and subscribers. Does that mean I'm not producing anything that's any good? Well, no, it doesn't. It just means that you haven't been seen by the right people yet or perhaps you concentrate on your client work so much that you haven't had time to push a load of stuff out there on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and all the others. It doesn't mean you're any less talented than anyone else. So one of the main things I wanted to make sure um, that I said and that, that came across today in this video was make sure you don't put pressure on yourself and just you just do you don't worry about anyone else if you're happy with what you're creating perhaps you're making a living out of it and you're happy in your life because of it then that's all that matters if you're taking pictures with an iPhone and you're making a living out of it or you've got a million subscribers um, and you've got no production value in your your uh, videos at all, it's just interesting content, then happy days, you don't have to have the top equipment. I went with the top equipment from my point of view um, because that's what I wanted. I'd, I'd made money in the business um, and put it aside to upgrade my photographic equipment, it's an important part of my business, and so that's what I did. Doesn't mean you have to do the same thing too. One of the places, as I said, I've taken shots recently at uh, Leeds Castle, why don't you check it out? So that was a bit of uh, Leeds Castle. I'm going to be doing uh, a lot more shooting and filming down there over the next few months. It's um, it's a great place. So um, I'll leave you with a little bit of uh, another little bit of B-roll that I actually made on the EOS R. Um, again, it's something I, I compare myself and I try not to. And this is one of the main things is with other people. You look at someone like Peter McKinnon um, and his B-roll, um, and it's astounding. You make your own B-roll and you think this isn't great at all but what's the point of comparing you know i'm doing well in what i do and that's really all that matters at the moment so i'll leave you with that um thanks very much for watching again uh if you've subscribed if you haven't press subscribe um i'd love for you to to catch up on all the videos i make press like if you liked it and obviously put any comments down below um as well and i'll see you next time thanks very much bye